save our planet. Ancient sea coral analysis reveals unstable sea levels in the past. A study of coral samples from the Bahamas indicates that sea levels during a period known as the last interglacial, around 120,000 years ago, fluctuated by as much as 4 to 6 meters. This data was revealed through a more advanced coral dating method recently developed by a U.S. research team led by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, or WHOI. Scientists thus have a new understanding of the last interglacial, which is a time period that global average temperatures were as warm or warmer than they are today, with sea levels that could have been about six meters higher. The researchers point out that currently increasing global temperatures could similarly lead to steep sea level rises, with WHOI geochronologist Dr. William G. Thompson saying that the volatility of the situation is a crucial matter that should be considered by the significant portion of the world's population that lives in coastal zones. Many thanks, Dr. Thompson and colleagues, for your discoveries that provide us with a more comprehensive understanding of climate change effects. Let us quickly heed these lessons of the past and work to stabilize our planet for the safeguarding of all beings on Earth. During a December 2010 interview by El Quintal Naroenza newspaper, Supreme Master Ching Hai warned of the devastating implications of rising sea levels and offered the single most effective way to restore the balance and protection of the ecosphere. Hundreds of thousands of people have to relocate because of rising water or because no water. Either flood destroy all their houses and harvest so they can't live anymore and after that it drought because no tree, nothing to keep the water to distribute regular and evenly. So all the water flush it all out at one time mm -hmm. and nothing keep it. It's gone to the sea and then the sea is warming because of methane and everything and all the runoff uh, chemical. And then uh, the sea warm more, the ice and the ice melt more and the sea keep rising. Mm -hmm. So people have to run either because of sinking island or rising sea level or flood or drought. It's all extreme. You cannot just point finger at one or two organizations. It's just all together because we are warming the climate by cutting the trees, by raising the animals who produce methane. According to the latest report, animals is responsible for 51% at least of all the greenhouse gas emissions that hit up the planet. So if we stop animal industry, we cut out 51% of the heat.